The infamous tomato and tobacco hornworms. If you've ever grown tomatoes, chances are good that you've dealt with these green caterpillar pests. These major pests feed on plants in the nightshade family, commonly feeding on tomatoes, eggplants, peppers, tobacco, moonflowers, and potatoes. The hornworms can be up to five inches long and can be quite a shock when you first come across one. They have V-shaped or diagonal stripes on a green body that blend in really well with the plant's greenery. Caterpillars hatch in late spring to early summer. They develop through five inch stars to reach maturity. In warmer climates where their first generation emerges earlier in this year, two generations of caterpillars can coexist in a single summer. Once fully grown, caterpillars fall from their host plants to pupate. Caterpillars pupate in early fall and enter their final stage into a moth. Adults are large with a five inch wingspan. The wings of the moth are brown and gray and their abdominals are brown and white with a row of five yellowish orange spots down each side, giving them the name five spotted hawk moth. The Carolina Sphinx has six pairs of yellowish orange spots. Shortly after adults emerge, they mate and lay their eggs on host plants, renewing the life cycle. Various morphological features can be used to differentiate these hornworms, namely that tomato hornworm has V-shaped yellow-white markings on the body and the tobacco hornworm has white diagonal lines. Additionally, the horn, a small protrusion on the final abdominal segment of the caterpillar that gives the hornworm its name, of the tomato hornworm is black, whereas the horn of the tobacco hornworm is reddish in color. The tomato hornworm has a wide distribution in North America and can be found from northern Mexico to the southernmost region of Canada, though it is not evenly distributed throughout this range. The tomato hornworm is uncommon in the southeast and is replaced by the tobacco hornworm in this region. In Florida, hornworm damage on tomato is typically caused by the tobacco hornworm rather than the tomato hornworm, despite its common name. The problem with tobacco and tomato hornworms is that a single one can decimate a whole tomato plant in what seems to be just one night. Gardeners often spot them and pick them off, squishing them or feeding them the chickens. Some gardeners plant crops that repel the species, such as marigolds, dill, or basil. The most interesting and admiring sight to see is the eggs of a parasitoid wasp on the back of tomato hornworms. Adult females of wasps lay their eggs inside the skin of the hornworm caterpillar. After hatching, the wasp larvae use the organs and tissues of the caterpillar as food sources before burying out the skin and pupating on the back and sides of the caterpillar. Once the wasp has emerged from their cocoons, the weakened caterpillar dies. To stay ahead of infestations, you need to keep an eye out for them. Here are some cues of infestations. Hornworms tend to start feeding from the top of the plant. Look for chewed or missing leaves. Look closely at the top of your tomato leaves for dark green or black droppings left by the larvae feedings on the leaves. Then look at the underside of leaves and you'll likely find a hornworm. Look for stems missing some leaves and wilted leaves hanging down. You may find white cocoons and their hornworm hosts nearby. If hornworm population is too large, you can use an organic pesticide such as Bt or neem oil.